Hey YouTube, I just wanted to show you a cool feature, something that uh, maybe um, y'all have discovered, but I discovered um, with a, a crossband uh, repeater radio. Um, I have messed with DMR radio a little bit with their hot spots, and I thought that was a really cool idea. And I started scratching my head, and my TYT TH9800 has a crossband repeater function on it. So I said, why not? Let me try that. So I know a lot of you guys um, have handhelds, and you have a little rubber duck, or you have the, uh, you know, 15, 16 inch whip that you put on it to get a little bit more range. But you can turn this into a hotspot. So um, what I did is I found a frequency below 440, 439 something, and I named that my home frequency. And then I have my channels in here, and I actually go to 10 band, six band, um, two meters, 70 centimeters, whatever you wanna do there and um, gives you ability to talk on this somewhere around your property. It goes here and instantly repeats out and uh, comes back the same way instantaneously. It's simplex. You can uh, put your uh, tone and code ID and stuff like that in there if you want, and it'll make it private. Um, so let me show you how you do it. So you tune in whatever you want. You know, I could put um, home on this side, Where, but home has to be in whatever you've, whatever frequency you program in there, put home on your radio. So what I want to do is we have the channel three, which is Amron, people monitor. So I'm going to put home there. So then I push this center button right there and it's program 35 you have to dial to it but once you get to it you hit OK and then it'll say do you want to start it and you hit OK again so now this is a repeater I've got this on low and this on low wattage so shouldn't have any interference and it's now um, like a DMR hotspot so what we're going to do now is test it out so I have a 10 meter dipole. I've never tried out as far as um, uh, just local radio. I just use it on 10 meters. And I'm like, well, hey, I'm going to test it out. This is a good video. So it's already on there. I've got my switch. Go to my dipole. And we're going to call for a radio check. And I'm going to use this. Let's walk away from here. W7 MBP calling for a radio check. W7 MBP on channel 3. I'm calling for a radio check. Just put a dipole up and I'm just going to see if it'll work on two meters. Anyone out there? He's working well here at Spirit Lake. KI7 GPK. Thank you much. W7 MBP. So there you have it. It works pretty, pretty cool. Um, so, and that's on my dipole. So, it's probably not real good as far as reception-wise. I'll turn it back to my beam, and so it's just an option for you out there if you want to do it. See, it's coming in here on channel three and broadcasting it low back to here on home. So. Kind of cool. Oh man, you're such an early bird. I don't think I could make it quite as early as you. So, uh, it's low cost. The TYT 9800 is what I'm using. Yeah, I was One of the other cool things, let me turn that off, is 
Um, it's got a removable face. It's got a long cord and your mic attaches to it. So you can sit across the room in your chair and have a cold drink and uh, call CQ or whatever you want to do. You don't have to be standing in your shop. You can mount this other locations. I think you can even get other heads. So, um, not, you know, not, I've had really good luck with the radio, but the crossband is really cool working as a hotspot. And I believe you could put this in your UTV, and if you're out hunting, you could do the same thing. Uh, W7 MVP, I'm out. 73s to all.